Hey gang, do you love classic rock like I do? Do you struggle with your music theory trying to remember it? Well, fear not, because just learning this one hit song from the 1960s is going to give you a leg up on remembering your basic music theory. Coming right up. All right, well, I'm not gonna keep you in suspense as to the name of the song. You probably either know it by the original or the great cover that Jimi Hendrix did of it. That's right, it's Bob Dylan's Like a Rolling Stone. I wanna give a shout out to Ron, a Mark Z guitar member. He pointed this out to me. Thanks a lot, Ron. And if you're also like me, you probably learned it the cowboy chord way, like once upon a time, you dress so fine, you threw the bums a dime in your prime. And a half. <laughs> right? Okay. So what that does is it masks what Bob Dylan's actually doing. He's actually going up the scale. I learned it in C, and those chords are C. Now it's a D minor seven, but we can just play that as a D minor. E minor, F, and G. Now, unbeknownst to me at the time when I learned it, those are actually, if in the key of C, it's the one chord, the C, the two chord, the D minor, the three chord, the E minor, the F chord, the four, it's a major, and then the five chord, the G. Now do you see when we played it linearly from the C to the D to the E minor, to the F, to the G, it just goes right up that scale. So you automatically, just by learning that first thing, you get the top five chords. You get the one chord as a major, you get the two chord as a minor, the three chord's a minor, the four chord is a major, and the five chord is a major. So if you just remember the sound of that song and you know that, you got it. Now the beauty of this is that we can play it in a different key and that same relationship the one, the two, the three, the four, the five, is going to hold in that key as well. So we were playing it in C, where we had the one was a C, the two was a D, three was an E, F, and G, right? Okay, what if we just dropped a string? If we drop a string, we play starting in G, and we can go G, A, B, C, D. It's like the same order, right? We're just dropping a string. So we've got... Once upon a time, I struggle to sing it now. You dress so fine, you threw the bumps a dime, you in your prime, didn't you? Right? And it sounds the same. You just translated it into a different key, playing the one, the two, the three, the four, the five chord. Same flavor. So we have to just remember what's minor and what's major. Now, if we were gonna be Jimi Hendrix, we'd probably play it in the key of E. Hendrix played so many things in the key of E, right? So one last thing I want to point out is that this song actually reinforces your knowledge of the chord scale by going both up and down during the song, which is pretty cool along the scale. If we play it in the original C again, we've got Once upon a time, you dress so fine, you threw the bumps a dime in your prime. Didn't you? So that's going up, right? And then it's a, it goes like this, to the four chord, which is an F. You used to talk about everybody hanging out, right? Okay, so that's F to G, F to G, which is the four to the five, twice. And then it walks down to the F, E minor. Now you don't talk so loud. So it kind of goes down. It goes F to E minor, to D minor, to C. So not only do we go up, Another one that you can learn, right? Lean on me. That's another great song. 
I always think that learning theory, reinforcing it in songs, is the best way to go. And this is a great song to know. I've just given you another one too. So either this one or Lean On Me. There you go. If you like this video, I'm sure you'll like this one as well. So why don't you check that out? We'll see you in the next video.